is a family type bar. It reminds me of the bars back uh, from Detroit and everybody was friends. Sort of like Cheers. It's been here since 1951 as Joe Dean's. As far as we know, it is the oldest business still operating under the original name in Garden City. I've been coming here for 30 years. This is my hometown bar. I've had great relations and great times in this little place. It's a happy place to go if, uh, you know, if I'm not working, I'm here. I've never felt so comfortable in any bar in my life that I have in this bar. If you see everybody every day and then you don't see anybody for six months, you worry about them, you care about them, you don't know what's going on with them, you have no contact with them. You miss them. We have a versatile crowd. My uncles, my family members come here. We have grandfathers, grandsons. For many, many years, I have done every single person in my life's birthday party here. <laughs> Except for if they're under 21. <laughs> I found out about Barstool a couple months ago. It's a shot in a beer joint. We have no food. No to kitchen. She's went above and beyond to keep this establishment open. It's heartbreaking is what it is. It's very heartbreaking. Yeah, when this was first brought to my attention about the bar stool funding, I wasn't going to do it because we were fine. We were holding our own. I still had the employees working. I was still being able to pay my bills. You know, we didn't make a lot, but we were holding our own. And now, since I have to close at 10 o'clock, I can't do any more outside service. I'm only 25% inside. We need help. 25% is really not a lot of people. Sometimes um, that's really only one group of people here to gather and hang out and celebrate or, you know, just be together. And that's, it's only 14 people. We have a, a huge karaoke following. We're starting at eight now. Okay. But that's really a short night and hardly anybody gets to sing anything. But from the clientele's perspective, it's almost not, it's not worth it even coming out. I would have to say it probably costs the girls at least 100 to 200 a night on the weekends, Friday and Saturday night, in, in just their tips. It took quite a while to get an appointment. And then when we came back, it wasn't the same because our hours were cut and we didn't have as many customers. You have a tendency to become attached to your employees, and as it should be. I've had an amazing time working here and working with all the girls for a very long time. And I want to see this bar succeed. We do a lot in the city. We try to keep it all city oriented. People that own this place really give out to the to the neighborhood. Yes. And it's neighborhood people that come in here and, and well, like me. Due to this pandemic, we have absolutely not been able to fulfill our charities that we normally do. They're great people. They give to everybody, and they deserve to be given to as well. If your community supports you, then you're going to be successful. And at some point in time, you have to give back to your community. If you don't, the American way never happens. It would be very important if they could get some kind of financial assistance here at Joe D's to help get past this really bad time. This is not something that's easy for us to do because we have always been self-sufficient. Jody's is very necessary for Garden City, period. There's too many businesses in Garden City that have closed. We've all, all become very close friends, family. We all want to see everything be successful here. So we're going to keep coming in and supporting and hopefully we can get a little help here and there and everything will be great and back to what it was. I love this bar.